Hello everyone, hello Raquel, hello we teach, hello Vivaldus, hello Macrin, Macrinan. So today people we are going to talk about how to use get. How do we use get? There are many ways for us to use get. So today we're going to talk about how to use get. And the lines are open. Anyone uh anyone um that wants to talk to me, you can just contact, just call me. How to use, how to use get. And if anyone can talk to me. Okay. All right. And if you have any questions today, you can ask questions. Hello, Makervan. Hello, Claudio. Hello, Alexandra. Hello, Vivaldo. Hello, we teach English online. Hello, Raquel. Hello, teacher Felipe. Hello, Ana Flavia. So today we're going to talk about questions uh, about GET. If you want to know anything about GET, you can ask questions today or we can take a look here and see how we use get. So, who, do, who knows? Do you know how do we use get? Você sabe como usar get? Do you know how to use get? Make a sentence with get for us. Faz uma frase com get. Make a sentence with the verb to get. To get can be used in a many number of patterns and it has a lot of meanings. It has a lot of meanings. For example, I got my passport last week. So, what you guys think? Get up right now. Yeah, to get up, what does it mean to get up? To stand up. Get in or get on. Difference, okay? You get in, you get inside the car, you get on, you get on a plane, you get on a get out of my way, very good. So we use get on uh, when you are getting on something, for example, a motorcycle, okay, getting on a plane, and get in when you are entering in a car. So, for example, people, I got my passport last week. I got my passport last week. What does it mean? O que que significa? I got my passport last week. To get here means to what? To get is to... I got my passport last week. What is the synonym here? O que que significa aqui? I got my passport last week. Do you get it? I understand. Very good, Rafael. Do you get it? That's another way. So, people, how to use get? How to use get? I got my post passport last week means I obtained it. I got, I obtained my passport last week. She got her driving license last week. She got her driving license last week. What is a synonym of get in this sentence? Qual que é o sinônimo de get nessa frase? She got her driving lesson last week. License last week. Her driving license last week. This means to obtain. Very good. So, people, contribute. Hello, Lucas. Hello, Rafael. Hello, Tiago. Hello, José. Hello, Cristiano. So, you can contribute here with sentences. Write sentences with get for me. Renan Campos Souza, hello. Hello, Braga Reinaldo. If anyone wants to talk to me, quem quiser conversar comigo, anyone wants to talk to me, you can call me. Hello, Lucas Coelho. If anyone wants to talk to me in English, you can talk, call me, okay? So, today we are working with get. Write sentences with the verb to get. So, when we say she got, she got her driving license last week means she obtained, she obtained her driving license last week. Get in my car, please. Very good, Rafael. Get in my car. Is correct. Make other sentence, sentences with get, people. Get in my car. Excellent. I got a letter from my friend in Nigeria. I got a letter from my friend in Nigeria. What does it mean here to get a letter? 
What means to get this? Make a sentence with a different word for to get in this sentence. Replace get in this sentence. I got a letter from my friend next week uh, uh, in Nigeria. Means I got a letter. I received a letter. Very good. Get up with. Get up with. Very good. Get up with. This sentence, I get it. I get it means I understand. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Alexandre. Hello, Nivia. How are you today? Nivia Oliver. Oh, are you a uh, sister of... Uh, I have a friend called Lucas Oliver. Hello, Paula. So, we are making sentences with get. Come here, people. Write where are you from and write a sentence with get for me. For example, she got a new coat from Zapaloni in home. She got a new coat, a new coat from Zapaloni in home. So in this case, when you get a new coat, what does it mean? What is, it, what is the synonym of get in this situation? Hello, Paula. Hello, Andrea. Write a sentence with get and improve your English. Então escreve uma frase com get e melhore seu inglês. Very good. So we got a new television for the sitting room. We got a new television for the sitting room. What does it mean in this case? It means, hello, Thales. What does it mean? Hello, Mikey Coxinha. So, we are working with get today, Mikey Coxinha. So, uh, we got a new, she got me nervous last weekend. She got me nervous last week. Very good, Rafael. Rafael, if you want to talk to me, you can just call me and I talk to you in English. Hello, Jadson. Hello, Rodolfo. We are making sentences with get. Write a sentence with get and improve your English. Very good. If you have any other questions, okay? Get your English and teach me. Very good. Hello, Lucas. Excellent. Kiria joined. Hello. Hello, Claudio Oliveira. Hello, Davidson. Zainer. Very good. Let's see another, another way to use get. Hello, Rodolfo. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening too. They got married last Saturday. Very good. To get married. Casar. To get married. Excellent, Paula. Write a, Rodolfo, write a sentence with get. Excellent. Hello, Mr. Davidson. Write a sentence with get for us. And if you have any questions and if you want to talk to me, you just call me. We can talk in English here. They got married last Saturday. Very good. They got married last Saturday. Excellent, Paula. Um, so, when you're talking about changing of state, a change of state, hello Hudson, a change of state, when you change from one state to another, we use the verb get, we use the verb get, for example, for example, I'm getting old, hello Kiria Romano, I'm getting what? <laughs> I'm getting old, I'm getting old, I'm, be I'm getting old, means, você tá ficando, you're changing the state, you're becoming something. Very, hello, Gabriel. Hello, Kayam. So, make a sentence with get for us, people. Hello, Anderson Correa, English. Welcome. If you want to talk to me, Mr. Anderson, you can just call me. We can talk in English. Uh, it's getting hotter, for example. So we are using get. Everybody, come here and use get. What for our key G? <laughs> Very good. Hello, Emmanuel. Make a sentence with get. We are using today how to use get. So, when you're changing state, we use get. Hello, Gabriel. Welcome. Welcome to Melhor Seu Inglês. Hello, Claudio Generoso. Welcome to Melhor Seu Inglês. Hello, Emmanuel Sabino. Write a sentence with get and improve your English. Melhor Seu Inglês. Hello, Rafael. Get over here. Yeah, this is Mortal Kombat. Get over here. I get bored. I got bored last night, CMX Silva. Hello, Claudio. How are you today, my friend? If you want to talk to me in English, please call. I, Rodolfo, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Just write, write a sentence with get. We are working with get today. So, for example, I'm getting hungry. So, we use get when there is a change of state. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting what you're saying. Very good, Claudio. So, your listening skills are great. Hello, Anazelia. Paula Riva, excellent. We got caught by surprise on our anniversary. We got caught by surprise on our anniversary. Oh, excellent, Paula. Claudio, I just got home. 
Amazing, Cláudio. Very good. I just got home. So, to get home, chegar em casa, we can use the verb to get, get home, when we arrive at some place. Get off my back. Very good, Lucas. So, if somebody, you know, criticizing you all the time, we say, get off my back, man. Get off my back, you know. Give me some space. Very good, Claudio. Congratulations. Hello, Nati Amorim. Just write a sentence with get and improve your English. Write a sentence with get and improve your English. Hello, Daniel. How are you today? Get over yourself. Yes, get over yourself. You know, get over yourself. Overcome something. Yes. We, we can say get over when you have a girlfriend and you broke up with her and get over the girlfriend. Hello, Paula. Excellent, Paula. She got mad at me because I forgot her birthday. She got mad at me uh, because I forgot her birthday. So, to get mad means to become angry, to get angry. I got an ice cream. Very good, CMS Silva. You just, you're forgetting to put the verb in the past. Coloca o verbo no passadinho aí. I got an ice cream. My aunt just got me some popcorn. Very good. Got me. Ela me arrumou, arrumou, arranjou. So, got me some popcorn. Hello, Sibeli. How are you? Write a sentence with get. We are working with get today. So, another example of get. Hello, Felipe. Write a sentence with get. And where are you from, people? Hello, Jackson Porto. So, another way to use get. I'm getting tired of all this nonsense. I'm getting tired. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Claudio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tell your friends to subscribe to our uh, Melhores em Inglês Instagram. We have a Nitrocast. Uh, we have a podcast. We have a YouTube channel. And we have a site. And we give private classes, conversation classes. Hello, Evandro Paiva. Hello, teacher Julisa. Welcome. We are working with Gats today. Thank you very much, Claudio. Write for me, people. For sure. Great. Write for me, people, a sentence with get. So, another sentence with get. My mother's getting old and needs looking after. It's all right. I got a cold. Excellent, Lucas. It's perfectly all right. Gabriel Fortunato, I got drunk really fast. It's only an example. Okay, very good. Don't drink so much. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. You know, I got drunk. To get drunk means to become drunk. You drink a lot of beer, for example, or wine, and you get drunk. So, when you change state, when you change state, we use get. Write a sentence with get for me, people. Let's go. Uh, don't touch the stove until it gets cool. Don't touch the stove until it gets cool. So, this is to get it to. It's all right. I got a cold. Hello, Socorro. Hello, Luciano. How are you today, my friend? So, now, now let's learn other things to get at. Do you know what it means to get at? To get at. Okay? To get at means to try to express. For example, I think I see what you're getting at. I agree. I think I see you. Hello, Luciano. Hello, it's Dumandré. We are making... Well, I got a flu. Very good, Sibeli. Excellent. Write a sentence with get. I gotta go. Okay, Mr. Rodolfo, thank you very much. If you gotta go, you gotta go. You have to get, get go away. I got a hard headache. Not hard, you say an intense or a painful headache. That's a better adge adjective. Just kidding. Very good, Rodolfo. Hello, Mendes Jan. How are you today? So, to get at means to try to express. So, pay attention to this sentence. I think I see what you're getting at. I think I see what you're getting at. I agree. I think I see what you're trying to express. So, you can use the verb to get at as to try to express. Hello, Mendes. Hello, Beatriz. If anyone wants to talk to me, people just call. We are here. You just to have a conversation and to talk about to get. I got a new job. Very good, Tim. And I got a new job. I got a new job. To get a job means to work, to get a job. Excellent. Uh, to get away with. Do you know what it means, people? To get away with? To get away with means to escape punishment for a crime or a bad action. To escape punishment. I got a big discount about that negotiation. Very good, Nachi. I got a big discount. 
Congratulations. We always need to negotiate. Very good, Nettie. Netty Amorim. Very good. So, to get away with means to escape punishment. You must, you must get love. No, you must get love. It's not very correct, this. You could say, you, you must get some love or you must get someone to love you <laughs> or convince someone to love you. You must get a friend. You must get a friend. You, know? you got a friend. Can you explain me something? Very good, Claudio. We are here. Any questions you have in English, you can call us. Cleusa Ferreira joined. Very good. Welcome, Cleusa. So we are talking about to get. How to get away with murder. Very good. To get away with is this, to escape punishment. For example, I can't believe you got away with cheating on that last test. I can't believe you got away with cheating. Cheating is colar, colar na prova, right? I can't believe you got away with cheating on that test. Yeah, real translation. Oh, how to get away with murder means como escapar, é, é como, é como cometer um assassinato e não ser preso, né? Como escapar de ter cometido um assassinato, né? Como cometer um assassinato sem consequência. That's, that's the, the meaning of How to Get Away with Murder, which is a great series. This is so cool. Thank you, Sibeli. Very good. Se safou. Very good, Claudio. To get away with murder means safar-se de um crime. Yes, to get away with. Now people write this, write a sentence with to get away. Now let's see, to get by. To get by. What does it mean to get by? Huh? To get by. Thank you, Claudio. Thank you very much. How does it mean to get by? To get by means to manage, to manage financially. You, you just make money to get by, you know, just to survive, just to go from one month to another. Hello, my English accent. Thank you for coming. Uh, so to get by is this. So for example, Sam doesn't earn much, but we get by. Sam doesn't earn much, but we get by. We get enough money, you know, to pay the bills and everything, to survive, very good, sobreviver. Excellent, Gabriel, very good. Now to get down, do you know what it means? You tell me three tips for getting better at our learning English. Okay, three tips, three, three quick tips for you guys to get better at English. First, first, speak a lot, speak English, use the Instagram. Make an Instagram account, read a text every day, you know, record yourself speaking English, post online, ask people how you're, you're, you are speaking English. So record yourself, this is the first tip, record yourself speaking English, listen and, listen and speak at the same time, go to sites on the internet, there is a very good site called VOA News. VOA News is a very good site, VOA News Learning English, they have native speakers, reading text, you can listen and read at the same time. Second tip, watch series in Netflix with English subtitles or without subtitles. Get a series that you love and you watch again, 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 again with English subtitles and practice. You see, you watch the series, practice together. Very good. And number three, yeah, you need to study. You need to study all the skills. You need to read a lot, read a lot in English, listen a lot in English, listen to podcasts. That's a great, great tip for you guys. Listen to podcasts, read a lot, watch a lot of movies and cartoons in English or in English subtitles and join, join a live with Teacher Newton here and you will learn English a lot. You can call me guys in these lives. You can just call me and we can speak English for you to practice your English also. Today we are learning about uh, get. Yeah, Gabriel, speaking is the most difficult part. That's why. That's my job, Erica's, teacher Erica's job. We have private classes with students and we tell them and we force them to speak all the time. So speaking, you only get better in speaking by speaking. Okay, Gabriel, hello, Nati, hello, Karina, hello, Claudio, very good. So, you know, be exposed. The more exposed you are to English, the better. Now, to get down, people, what does it mean to get down? João, Alexandre, hello, welcome to Melhor Seu Inglês. Thank you very much, people, for coming. Oh, I see a lot of people today. That's great. To get down, what does it mean to get down? Get down, get down, bring. 
get down, get down. What does it mean to get down? To get down means to get rid of something, means to throw, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, to, to get down. Get down means to have fun. Thank you very much, Gabriel. My podcasts are very good. It helps a lot. Yeah, people, I have a Melhor Sem Inglês. I recorded one today. Tomorrow I will upload the podcast, Melhor Sem Inglês. Please, you know, give us feedback. Send, uh, send us messages to what do you want in the podcast. We will record for you guys. Our podcast is more focused on grammar and vocabulary. So... Anything you want, we can bring to you. Hello, André Alberto. Hello, Leonardo. Hello, X-Style 2000. Okay? So, if you guys want to talk to me, you know, just call me. Uh, we can talk in English. All right. Get out of bed on the wrong side. What does it mean? Oh, this is a big expression with get. And write a sentence with get for me here, people. To get out of bed on the wrong side means to be... In a bad Don't get me down. Very good. Don't get me down. Don't get me down. Oh, very good. Very good. I, I love this, this song a lot. Okay. Hello, X-Style. So, uh, to get down means to become sad. I'm going to get down the <laughs> from the upstairs. I'm going to get down from the upstairs. Okay, and get down is also slang, means, you know, dance a lot, you, you're, you're hearing to a good song, and you, let's get down, let's dance very much, because, you know, the life is short. Hello, F. Akusam, how are you today? Just write down here the uh, sentences with the verb to get. Hello, Wagner, write down here a sentence with the verb to get. So... To get out of bed on the wrong side means to be in a bad mood. For example, he got out on the wrong side of the bed this morning and it's, he has been horrible all day. He's been horrible all day. So to get out of bed on the wrong side means to be in a bad mood. Uh, now, another example with to get. To get off. To get off means to leave something. Hello, Amparo. Hello, uh, Valdeci. Welcome to Melhor Seu Inglês. We are talking about get. Write a sentence with get for me. To get off means to get away, to get out from a form, to leave a form of transport. For example, a train, a bus, a bicycle, a plane. Hello, Milena. Hello, Idarj. So, for example, we got off the train just before the bomb exploded. We got off the train just before the bomb explodes. So you get on the train and you get off the train. Get off the train. Make a sentence here for me with get off people. Um, all right, get on with. Do you know what it means to get on with? What it means to get on? Hello, Valdeci from Lagoa Santa, Minas Gerais. Welcome, welcome, Valdeci. Let's study English. Let's study a lot of English. Tell your friends, tell your friends about Melhor Seu Inglês to help them with their English too. So, get on with. Get on with means to proceed, to do something. Get on with means to proceed. Look the example. I have so much homework. I better get on with it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's don't get along. To get along means dar-se bem. Not get along. You don't... Uh, uh, you, 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 você não se dar bem. But get on with means to do, to proceed. Come on, people, get on with this. Get on with this. Do this. Uh, to get out of, that's easy. What is to get out of? Huh? You can write down a sentence with get for me, people. People that are entering now, write a sentence with get for me. Uh, to get through. Do you understand what it means to get through? Hello, Paulo. Welcome. Write a sentence with get. Uh, to get through, to get through means to use or to finish the supply of something. To use or to finish the supply of something. For example, we got through all the sugar. We got through all the sugar. Can you buy some more? To go to to get through means to finish. To to finish to. I'm gonna get off from work at 6 p.m. Very good, excellent, Claudio. Hello, Angiera. Hello, Paulo. Uh, are you fine? So today we are learning about get. 
I'm fine too, my friend. Today we're learning about get. If you know how to use get, write a sentence here using get. We are learning that get has a lot of meanings. Get the hand of. Yeah, I can get the hand of. Get together. Very good. Get together. But the song is not like this. It's come together. But you could say, oh, let's get together. Let's get together and have a good time. We have to get out from this bad situation. Very good. Ravioleta Stig should get, should get more money. Not should be. You don't have to be. Should get more money. Yes, I agree with you. Hello, Silmara. Welcome. I want to do the course with you. Thank you very, very well to see you. Just contact us. You can send us a message. Contact us in, in our... Uh, the, the, in our profile, there is all uh, the information. You just can call us on the WhatsApp and whatever. Hello, Claudio. With the verb, uh, with the verb get. Yes. Hello, Silmara. How are you today? Where are you from, Silmara? Let's make a sentence using get. So now, uh, get up to. Oh, I love this one. Get up to. Get up to means aprontar. What are the children getting up to? So usually we, we say the children. Que que estão aprontando? What are, what are the children getting up to? For example, the children are very quiet. I wonder what they are getting up to. I wonder what they are getting up to. All right. Other expressions with get. He's getting dinner tonight means he's preparing the meal. Oh, you can, you can relax. It's my turn to get dinner tonight. So when you say get dinner, is to prepare dinner. Hello, Jean. Hello, Swelling. Welcome. Where are you from? Where are you guys from? Very good. And, and another one, another expression with get. I get the bill means I will pay. So when we say I'll get the bill means I'll pay. Fiz cinco anos e meio inglês ainda travo. Help me. Oh, Swelling. Uh, study a lot. You need to speak English. I'm from Bahia, beautiful Bahia, love Bahia, thank you very much. Study English, you know, use the Duolingo, uh, get a private teacher, me or teacher Erica, you know, we can help, we make miracles, we make our dreams come true. A gente ajudou muita, muita, muita gente, a gente trabalha só com a individual, então a gente ajudou muita gente a aprender inglês, mesmo que está travado, a gente vai tirar nessa trava, porque o importante é comunicar-se. Very good. What did you get in the supermarket? What did you get in the supermarket? Excellent. Make a sentence with get. Hello, Tyrone. Hello, Valdir Santos. I'm from Belém. Very good. Beautiful place. Probably is very hot today here. I'm from Belo Horizonte, from Minas Gerais. Hello, Valdir. Thank you very much for coming. So, um, let's see. I make a sentence with get. Hello, Inglês Jeleni. Hello, Tyrone. If anyone wants to talk to me, hello, Inglês. You can call me and, and talk to me. And if you have any other questions, people, you can ask questions. Today we are working with get. So you can write a sentence with get. So, for example, I'll get the bill means I will pay. So if you are in the United States in a restaurant, oh, you can't uh, get uh, time with you. Okay, uh, we, we can try. Yeah, it's, it's, we are pretty busy, but... Uh, I, I, I will try to get a, a, a time with you with, with me. I will see uh, if Erica's teacher Erica don't have much time now, but uh, I think I do. I will I will contact you. Okay, for the see. Hello, Rafael. I'm from Natal. Pleased to meet you. Very good. I'm from Belo Horizonte, and um, pleased to meet you too. How are you today, Mister? Uh, probably is very hot there. So, oh, another expression with get for you guys. Another expression with get that really gets me. That really gets me means that irritates me. That irritates me. So, that really gets me means that irritates me. So, isso me irrita. That's irritate. I am from Pacatuba, Ceará. Very good. Beautiful Ceará. Ceará is a wonderful place. I love Ceará. I've been there sometimes and it's amazing. Very good. So that really gets me, means it irritates me. So when you become irritated, you are, when you are irritated with something, you just use, oh, that gets me. 
Very good. Hello, Castellana. So, do you have any questions, people? Uh, other expressions with get. Other expressions with get. Okay, let me see here. Now, we're going to see some idioms with get. There are many cool idioms. Where are you from? I'm from Belo Horizonte. I'm from uh, Minas Gerais, Brazil, Belo Horizonte, but I lived almost five years in the United States and I've been teaching English for more than 30 years. <laughs> I'm a veteran in English. I love English and I love helping people to learn English. Hello, Everton. How are you? Where are you from? Okay, so now let's go, let's do, let's see others with express uh, other expressions with get so make a sentence hello tyrone make a sentence with get dark make a sentence for me with get dark okay all right write the sentence for me with get dark what do, what does it mean to get dark to get dark means that is getting Dark is becoming with less and less light, less and less light go down, the lights go down. With the verb get, we get to say many phrases. Yes, <laughs> very good. We get to say means we can say. We get to say many phrases means we can say many phrases. Excellent. Hello, Claudine. Where are you from? And make a sentence with get. Hello, Lucas Silva. Where are you from? Make a sentence with get. Very good. Get lost. What, what, what does it mean, people, when I say to someone, Oh my God, I don't want you here. Get lost. Get lost. What does it mean to get lost? Right? There are, there are many meanings. You can say, Oh my God, I got lost in Sao Paulo. Last time I was in Sao Paulo, I got lost in there because it's so big. Hello, Carlos Gonçalves. Welcome. Welcome to our live class. So... We are talking about get. Oh, hello, you're from Natal. Very good. Carlos Gonçalves, where are you from? Claudine, where are you from? And make a sentence with get lost. Now, let's make a sentence with get lost. Another expression with get is get better. Get better. It's getting late. I must go. Yes, it's getting late too. Yes, I think I will end for today too. Uh, I think we got a lot of expressions with get people. Please keep in touch with the Melhores Inglês. You can comment anything you want and uh, send us messages with uh, topics for lives, whatever. Hello, Carlos, you're from Sud Menúcio, São Paulo. Welcome, Carlos. Welcome to our channel, Melhores Inglês. Very good. Um, and to finish, I will say the last get. Uh, get safer, get safer. For example, buying things online has gotten safer with tools like PayPal. Get safer. Welcome, Johan Mester. Welcome. Make a sentence with get. Okay, people. So now <laughs> I will have to go now. Thank you very, very much. And I see you on our next live. Para aulas particulares de inglês focados em conversação para todos os níveis e para e divertidas demais pelo Skype ou WhatsApp. Oh, your wife is getting a delicious meal ready, ready for us. Rafael, put a ready there. My wife is getting a delicious meal ready for us. Very good. Então, pessoal, tô ficando aqui. Para quem quiser aulas de inglês particulares por Skype, pode entrar em contato comigo ou com a professora Érica lá pelo nosso perfil. Vai lá no perfil, tem todos os dados de contato. Visite o nosso Melhor Seu Inglês o, o nosso blog, Melhor Seu Inglês, o nosso podcast, Melhor Seu Inglês, e comente, espalhe para os amigos esse nosso canal aqui no Instagram. Thank you very much, people. See you. See you next, next live. See you next class. Bye-bye. And if you want to talk to us, you know, just contact. Bye-bye, people.